everyone! I'm Miss Megan and I am the branch manager of the Johnston Lakes Library in Lake Park. Today I'm going to show you how to make a nature journal. Um, and This is a really easy project that you can make from items that you have around the house. And with your journal you can use it to record things that you're finding outside um, like leaves or flowers. You can even record animal tracks that you may see in the ground. The, the way that we design this, it comes with some really handy pockets for storage. All right, let's begin with the supplies that we're going to need. First things first, we need lunch bags, three brown lunch bags, okay? We're also going to need a sheet of blank paper, um, several sheets of blank paper. It's okay if it has something on the back. All right, we're going to need scissors. We will need glue, yarn, or ribbon, whichever you have handy, color pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have, a ruler, and a hole punch. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the book. Take your brown bags, take your lunch bags, and we're going to stack them in alternating directions. Okay, so one bag will have its opening to the left. All right, then the one on top will have its opening to the right. All right, and then just repeat with the third bag. So this opening will be on the left. All right, once you've got those stacked, you're gonna take them and fold them over to form the book shape. Give it a nice tight binding there. Perfect. You see what we've created? We have an opening pages for storing whatever we're finding outside and then we'll glue some pages in there. All right, looks good. Okay, so now we'll add the pages to our journal. So I want you to take your blank pages, your blank paper, and you're going to measure out a square. These are the squares that was gonna get glued into our book, all right? And it's a five by five square, five inches by five inches. Measure that out, you should be able to get two squares per sheet of paper. All right, cut that out. Once you've got those cut, then you can glue them. All right. Glue stick time. I love gluing, but I always get it on my surfaces too. I think I managed to not get any on the table this time. Lay it flat. Perfect. This is the front page of our journal. Okay, you can open the next one. plop it in. Perfect. And continue. It should take 12 pages if you're using three bags. There will be a page, uh, it'll be a square for each page. All right. Next up, we need to punch our hole so that we can bind our journal. All right. So take your hole punch out. All right. This is going to be a pretty thick stack and I don't know that our hole punch is going to get through it successfully. So what I recommend is starting on one page, one bag, okay, and putting in two punches pretty evenly. There. And now you'll use this as a guide for the other bags. See what I'm doing? Perfect. We want to make sure that they're all lined up evenly so that we can bind them together with our ribbon. Good job. One more. Great. Okay, let's put everything back together. Oh. 
Okay, next we will punch a hole in the very front page at the opening. And the very back page on the opening side. These holes are going to help us close this and bind it with some more ribbon and prevent anything from falling out of those handy pockets. Okay, let's move on to our binding. Grab your yarn, grab your ribbon, whichever you chose, and cut about 18 inches in length. That's going to be plenty of, of length for you here. And then lace them through your holes, okay? And sometimes this could be difficult. If you have trouble with it, you just ask an adult to give you a hand. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. Once you've got those in there, even them out and tie a pretty bow. I can't wait to hear about what you find and record in your journal. I know there's going to be some pretty amazing things out there in your backyard. Or if you get a chance, you can always find something in a park. Maybe see a red bird. I see a red bird sometimes in my backyard. And I see a red bird at my library in Lake Park. Do you know what else I see at my library in Lake Park? I see ducks. My library is located next to a lake and sometimes ducks come waddling down the road to get into the lake. Okay, my binding is tied. There we go. And we're finished. All that's left is just some personalization on your cover page. You can see here with mine, I colored it and I called it My Nature Journal. I even attempted to do some drawing on it. This is a camellia. A camellia is a flower that we see throughout the South. Another flower that we find, especially here in Valdosta, is the azalea. I've also drawn some animal tracks. Um, looks like bird tracks down here. Does anybody know what our state bird is? The brown thrasher. And then these are some sort of a deer track. I'm not a very good artist. Um, and then that's it. For more information about what's in your backyard, check out these websites about the flora and fauna of Georgia. Spider webs. <laughs> you can do this. I found something. You did. Let's talk about that. You can follow the South Georgia Regional Library on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more ways to keep yourself and your family entertained and engaged. Okay, my friends, thanks so much for crafting with me today. I hope you had fun making your journals. When you take these outside, remember to be safe. Always take an adult with you and never approach any wild animals you may come across. Until next time, be happy, healthy, and safe.